Hi, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are having the perfect fall day. We have a lot on our to-do list. We need to get some fall nails, bake some fall cookies, and we're also gonna be shopping for one new fall sweater. I've already eaten, I've gotten ready. I did not go to solid core bright and early this morning. I was supposed to, but I canceled last night because I just couldn't do it, okay? If you last, if you, English, if you watch the last vlog, you know my whole dilemma. I decided to cancel my membership, but FYI, you have to do it. 30 days before so they're gonna charge me for the next month so I have to finish up this pay period and the whole next pay period so I was like okay I'm gonna get my little money's worth I'm gonna go but I canceled long story short <laughs> the next step is to treat ourselves to the perfect fall coffee aka Starbucks fall drinks this is only like my fourth or fifth time getting one this year because it's frugal fall and your girl has been saving all her little monies this is the outfit of the day i'm just wearing this little sweater vest i think it's from h&m last like august i got it these are the groove pants from lululemon and then these little boots are i think from h&m so that is the fit well let's go hi thank you to starbucks hi um can i just get the and now i can't see it oh the wait no it's not up there what is the chai the pumpkin cream chai yeah what size um just a tall okay with oat milk okay and then can i also get a single shot in there yeah and that'll be it right, here you are thank you yeah, you too yum taste test mm. wait this is really good today i don't know why maybe because last time i got a grande i don't know i don't know if that matters but i get the tall ice pumpkin cream chai it it's like a new drink but i used to get this but it just didn't have a name it was just a chai with pumpkin cream cold foam and i get a single shot and oat milk cheers okay next we're going to marshall's to find the perfect fall sweater i have a few from last year but they're really tiny i don't know what is wrong with me like i guess i wasn't into oversized but the goal is something a little oversized, maybe striped, not itchy, and under $25. I don't know if that's possible, but we'll find out. We're here. We're already off to a great start. Some of these are so cute. I literally already have a pile. Okay, we have about a million options, and it's time to try on. Got the stuff. Okay, time for a little haul. First of all, I spent $18.73 total, and I paid in cash, so it's almost like it was free girl math right okay I ended up going with this navy blue and white striped sweater it's super cute it's like kind of like wide in the body area and then there's no like cuffs or anything on the arm so cute very fall I love the stripes I love the navy blue instead of just like black or anything like that so that's exciting i think it's gonna look so cute with basically what i'm wearing right now with the groove pants some boots obviously it would be cute with jeans i'm so excited to paint my nails again it's been a week and a half since actually it's almost two weeks it'll be it's two weeks since i did them the last time and it's so fun i'm like obsessed with the process it's like really chill and i just get to sit by myself and do my nails and watch whatever i want to watch and just relax for like two hours so i'm super excited to do them today the inspo is going to be very fall it's going to be chocolate browns maybe a little design maybe a little french maybe a little chrome a little glazed chocolate donut vibe i'm not sure but actually before we do that we're going to go to trader joe's first to get some things for our fall cookies and also I'm gonna see if they have the butternut squash mac and cheese because that is my favorite 
thing right now. It's like the best fall pasta ever. Maybe one day I'll try to make it by myself. But hopefully they have it because the last couple times that I went, they didn't have it. So that would really ruin our perfect fall day. I've been finding so many good recipes lately on TikTok. I guess it's kind of been like a hobby, a new hobby of mine, I guess. The cookies that I want to make are pumpkin snickerdoodles, which if I find it, then maybe I can link it. It just sounds so delish and there's only a few things that I need. So I thought it would be perfect to make today. Okay, I did not secure the bag at Trader Joe's. They were all out of the fall pasta and something else that I needed for the cookies they didn't have, but I think I can substitute it. So it'll be fine, but I'm really upset about the fall pasta. We might have one more at home, but I think it's supposed to be for Manny and not for me. But if it's there, maybe I'll just eat it and I'll get him a new one another day. Anyway, I just pulled up to the nail supply store. Okay, so I ended up getting Bubble Bath by OPI, which is a classic. I can use this all the time. I think that's why it was more expensive than I thought doesn't say yeah OPI Dell color $13 while the DND like duo is only seven so this is by DND um, walnut brown which I've also been seeing all over and it comes with the gel which I use my fingers and then also like a regular which I can always like use on my toes or whatever yeah hopefully I'm not stupid and these like hopefully they don't have a problem mixing like if I do this as a base and this as a design because they're different brands but I mean, I've done that at the salon before, so I think we'll be fine. We'll just have to see. Okay, we just got home and it's time to make our cookies. I, of course, spilled my coffee when I was getting out of the car. Luckily, it was like watered down and almost gone and I was just gonna throw it away anyway because I would've been upset. But we're here, we're comfy. I didn't get any coffee on me, so I just am wearing the same outfit, but I put on my fake uh, slippers from Walmart. First things first is I want to check if, ooh, there it is. There's one more Trader Joe's butternut squash mac and cheese. I'm going to ask Manny if I can have it because that would be delicious right now. I have a little bit of cleaning up to do in here and just getting all the ingredients out for cookies. First round of cookies are going in now. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing with snickerdoodles, so I'm a little bit worried, but it's fine because we have a whole other batch to go. 
Okay, cookies are ready. I honestly think I might have burned them a little bit. But, yeah. And I see why the recipe said put them two inches apart because, yeah. But they still look yummy and they smell so good. Okay, hair's going up. I am about to paint my nails finally. Um, we're gonna figure something out. I'm gonna watch something on the iPad, maybe Gilmore Girls to get me into the fall mood. I also have a recent obsession. This is not fall related at all, but I wanted to try Poppy because it was like viral on TikTok and everybody was loving it. And at first I thought it was just like a soda. Like I didn't know it was prebiotic. So that's kind of cool. But I tried, I've tried a couple. I've tried this raspberry rose. I've tried the orange and I've tried, I think it's called strawberry lemonade. But this raspberry rose is delish. It's so good. Mm. It's like, I normally don't like sweet stuff, like berry stuff, but it's like that and it's really yummy. Before we do my nails though, let's try one of the pumpkin snickerdoodles. They smell really good. They're super like coated in sugar and cinnamon and yum. Wait, that's really good. It honestly just tastes like a regular snickerdoodle. Maybe I can kind of taste pumpkin. That's yummy. Mmm. I did a good job. I'm shocked. Okay. I'm gonna paint my nails. <laughs> 